Now in this video we will be learning how to find the general term of a plus b the whole ways to n. So we are going to find the general term of the expansion of a plus b the whole ways to n where this n belongs to a natural number. And the formula is let's say t r plus 1 is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r multiplied by b raised to r. So the r plus 1th term is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r, b raised to r. Now suppose we have a sum, like find the seventh term of the expansion of let's say of 4x upon 5 minus 5 upon 2x, let's say this, 5 upon 2x, the whole way is to 9. Now we know this is our a, we know this is our b including this negative sign and 9 is the value of n. Now since we need to find the 7th term, t is 7 but over here the formula is t r plus 1. So this 7 is nothing but r plus 1. So we have r as 6. So in this particular sum, we'll take the value of r as 6 because the r plus first term will be 6 plus 1 and that will be 7. So we have the 7th term. So we'll rewrite the formula. t r plus 1 is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r. So we have t and we have the value of r as 6 so we have 6 plus 1 and we know that is 6 plus 1 is 7 so we'll end up with getting the seventh term so 6 plus 1 so the value of r is 6 n c r so the value of n is 9 from here c r r is 6 into a raised to n minus r the a value of a is 4x upon 5 n minus r. So we have 9 minus 6. Or we can directly write 3 over here. So we'll directly write 3. Into b raised to r. b is minus 5 upon 2x. The whole raised to r. Now the value of r is 6. So t7 is 9c6. And we know 9C6 is nothing but 9C3 because 6 plus 3 is 9. And it means that we'll start the numerator with 9, we'll start the denominator with 3, and we'll have 3 numbers in the numerator starting with 9 into 8 into 7, and then 3 into 2 into 1. We can ignore the 1 also. So 3 1s are 3, 3s are 2 1s are 2 4s are. So 3 4s are is 12 and 12 7 is 84. So we can directly write 84 over here, no need to show. Then we have 4 cubed x cubed upon 5 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. x cubed is x cubed upon 5 cubed is 125. That is 5 into 5 into 5 multiplied by minus 5 the whole raised to 6. So we have minus 5 into minus 5 6 number of times. Minus 5 into minus 5 is 25. So we can write 25 3 times. The whole upon 2 raised to 6. 2 raised to 6 is 64 x raised to 6 is x raised to 6. Now let us cancel whatever is possible. For instance, we can cancel 64 and 64. You know, 
125. Then x cubed gets cancelled and we have x raised to 3 in the denominator. Sorry, this should have been um, 5. 25 5 are 125. So we have 5 ones are 5 5 are. So in the denominator, we are just left with x cubed. In the numerator, we have 84 into 5 into 125. So let's see what is that. 84 into 5 into 25. And we have 10,500. So we can write 10,500. So the seventh term of this particular expansion is 10,500, the whole upon x cubed.